before we get to the framing, Kevin, we got to do the uh, exterior perimeter drain, the insulation, and the backfill. All right, well, let's get to that. Yep. After we took the forms off, we waterproofed this. That's that black coating right there. Right. We're going to get a lot of water in this area with all the ledge we took out. Right. So the last thing we want is to have the basement be wet. I mean, you're going to have a lot of water running off of the roof during a rainstorm. But like you say, this ledge, I mean, you guys basically dug yourself a swimming pool. We did. We did. So we have to take extra precautions to make sure we don't have a wet basement. So waterproofing on the foundation. I see that. I see a pipe here. So this is the perimeter drain we're working on? Yeah, it's a perforated pipe that's got holes all the way around it. Okay. And what's the formula here, the recipe? So basically we lay down a bed of crushed stone, mm -hmm. we lay that pipe on top, on top of that pipe we put some more crushed stone and landscape fabric so when we backfill that dirt doesn't clog those holes. Beautiful. So we've got a nice clear channel for the water to run into the pipe. Obviously you got to get it away. Where does it go? With the grading we have on this property, we're able to run it to daylight. Got it. That, that end of that drain is going to be 20 to 30 feet past this foundation. Right. So can we finish laying this? Yeah, let's do it. All right. So Kevin, we're going to have some stone drop down into this foundation. We're going to spread it around and get that pipe laid out. Sounds good. Gonna drop this right here. Let's back off a little bit. So what do we got? Like three, four inches of stone on the bottom here? Yeah, roughly three or four. We just want to keep that water and give it a good place to go. Four inch pipe? Yep. Perforated all the way around. Just going to bring it right around the corner. Yep. And just roll this right out through here. Gravel below and on top of the pipe allows for easy access for the water to enter through the perforated holes. Gravity will then take the water around to the back of the house. Looks like we're ready for the next bucket. You got enough around that corner? Yeah, this is good here. Let's spread this stone, Kevin, and then I can have you go get some insulation. We can start installing that. All right, we're ready for insulation. All right, so Thanks, rigid Kevin. boards there. Just going to lay them in there? You got to yep. secure them or anything? Just going to lay them in there. The backfill is going to hold them in place. And what are you getting for an R value off of these? So these are R10, the rigid insulated panels. Nice. Code requires us to have a certain insulation for the concrete. Concrete makes up for some, and then we put the pink R10 one layer on the outside before backfilling. Get you some more. Take that other one for me. Got it. You want this one in or you want to cut first? Let's hold off on that one. We'll lay the fabric down now. All right, fabric. If you want to grab that end of the landscape fabric, we'll lay this down over the pipe. So the reason we're laying this fabric down is when we go to backfill, we want to make sure none of the dirt or anything clogs up these holes that we've got down here in our perimeter drain. So we're going to lay this down prior to backfill so we'll get proper drainage when this all gets filled in. Nice. Kevin, it looks like we're all set here. We're ready to backfill. All right. Kevin, as you can see, we've taken out two areas here in the footing that we've run that perimeter drain through. Right. So that gets us through that, and we get it, what, 10, 15 feet away from the main foundation. It's not the daylight yet, but this is far enough so you can keep working? Yeah, we'll determine the length on this when we come up with final grading, but we're ready to go on this garage foundation. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button.
make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.